I invented the web just because I needed it, really, it, because it was so frustrating that it didn't exist. There, uh, there I was. I was at CERN, exciting environment, people coming from different countries, people coming from different universities, working for different people, and because they didn't all work for the same company, they weren't all told to buy the same software and buy the same computer. So they came with different sorts of computer, different sorts of software, so their documentation was all in different systems. So when I wanted to do my job, I'd have to you know, build a program that would make this talk to that, and I'd have to go and find out how this worked, and find out how that worked, and then how the infrastructure worked. Those would all be on different computers. So it would be a question of going to one person and interviewing them, more or less. Uh, just like you're interviewing me. How does it work? Why did you make it? What other things did, does it depend on? What else should I know? Are there any questions I haven't asked, uh, which I really should have asked? And then writing all that down, and then going to somebody else. And the place to do it, in fact, was the coffee area, where people would come by. and. Um, you could grab people out of the flow and say, oh, yes, if you're using this, then you'll have to learn how to use this, too. So you need to, to, to talk to Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre. Yeah. So that environment was all very well. But when you joined it, you spent a lot of time getting up to speed. And when you left, you had an obligation to leave uh, sort of instructions on how to use the thing you'd made. A lot of the people I was working with, I'd get, get help from people who were maybe students, can't they really come for the summer or something? You don't want them spending three months getting up to speed and then go. So the idea of the web as being a place where we could just have all this stuff available in such a way as I could make a link. When somebody says, oh, if you use this, you'll really need to know how to use that too. OK, that is a random abstract association that somebody bringing out from their brain the fact that, oh, yeah, these two, these two things are connected. So really valuable, I always felt, to be able to keep that, put that into the computer. Even though this system runs on one sort of computer, this system runs on a completely different sort of computer. They're different types of systems. So at CERN, before the web, they would be systems you'd have to connect to completely separately. And you wouldn't be able to really bring up the information from one thing at the, oh, at the same time as the other. You'd have to bring up information from one and write it on the back of an envelope and then go to the other system and maybe type it back in. So that was pre-web. But there was lots and lots of information on disks. But there was, the information was there. There were all these documentation systems. And if you realized that it would just take a little program running on each to turn them into the web, to, to make it so that even though the documents stayed on that documentation system, they actually also appeared on the web. And even though they stayed in this help system, they also appeared in the web. And then you could link them together. That was clearly going to be such a win that it was uh, worth putting a bit of time into.